I keep coming back to Counter-Strike because it's the best eSport in the world. So with Counter-Strike, you're always developing your own skills and honing uh, your craft. It's good to play with friends as well. It's oh, truly competitive. It gets in your veins when you're on fire. I love to, to compete and to win, and I get mad if I don't win. That's a hard question. It's <laughs> kind of hard question, bro. Uh, can you give me the question again? I can make sure. I actually never finished a single player game in my entire life, so I prefer multiplayer games. As a family, we, uh, we are together about it. I like this strategy. We have to be five men together and play all together. I, I like games more that you can play in teams or with friends. I don't feel like it's, uh, it's a joy to play alone. It's also the strategy, the economy and the teamwork. It's amazing to watch. Piece of hardware I can't live without my mouse. I cannot change my mouse. Any other mouse can't do it. Obviously, the computer. <laughs> You'd need that to get the job done. So yeah, I'd say that. I think it's the screens. I love my mouse. I, have, I got a special place. I even have like a little box for my mouse, so it doesn't get scratched when I'm uh, having it in my backpack and so on. First video gaming setup I had was my dad's laptop when I was about four or five years old. It was actually a flat screen. Uh, yeah, very expensive at that time. She was very expensive, like 20,000 crowns. <laughs> that was good. This <laughs> old, old PC. <laughs> old. Oh, first setup I played CSGO was probably horrible. Probably like a laptop plugged in my monitor. I think it was running 30 FPS in game and when I was in smokes in 1.6, it was crashing. And it was like really bad. And those my mom's. My monitor actually wasn't even in front of me, it was like to the side because of how the desk was. The tube monitor, like with 60 hertz. We ended up, you know, carrying that on train all throughout Denmark. It wasn't easy. I don't think I don't think current generation will realize how hard it was traveling with CRT monitors. The best piece of CS advice I've ever gotten is to not take it seriously and have a good time. Don't just stand still and shoot. You know, do the you know, 80 80 strafing bit when you shoot. Cover the angles. Don't don't open up too much. So I'm now living with two ex-professional Counter-Strike players, Henry and Chad. So I've been getting up a boatload of advice and criticism. When you're raging, don't rage. Just chill, relax, and the headshots will come. Breathe, Alex. Breathe. To keep calm and steady aim. Stay focused and have fun. 2020, uh, probably get better like at other guns, you know, other roles. Like I'm more of an entry, so I probably get better at lurking, support, and all that. I just hope to be able to maybe not global, but uh, the rank below. I'm hoping for that one. I think there's a lot more to be done and achieved, and I still feel very rusty in, in the realms of commentary. So I feel like in terms of improvement, self-improvement. That's, it's going to majority be in commentary. Hope to achieve, I'd probably say a Grand Slam and a major win. Hopefully next year we'll be able to win the major. Obviously a major is still a big goal of mine and obviously obviously my teammates, so hopefully a major. I hope to achieve that uh, I might get on a, a nice team in Counter-Strike so I can earn some money about it. I'm so bad in face it because I play with this guy. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, like, everyone wants to be less toxic. I feel like sometimes it's really hard when you're sitting, like, at home and people, like, behind the monitor. Spread positivity on the servers and in the different games you're playing and just, like, in general, obviously get better.